Okay, uh, 38 fib still holding line in the sand. We've talked about this numerous times uh, over here. Uh, we kind of really want to see it capture above this 50. Uh, volume needs to increase a little bit. And quite honestly, the price action needs to get way over here for me to really get excited or at least get above the 10, give me a dip, and then I could see it getting above or going to these highs. Um, this was a, you know, a 2.7 rip to the downside, I think, when you look at it. If I go from here down to here yeah, about three percent so it's still just a three percent retracement um but it's still below the 10 on the and still have bearish macd on the uh weekly so that's something to keep in mind as well macd is still very bearish so far so we want to see how if that could perk up excuse me qqq uh is above the 50 um you know i was just showing this line this trend line and now it's coming maybe it's going to be resistance or not i'm not sure uh, we'll see how that one plays out, but Google actually looks really good uh, right here, right now. So, uh, actually, last time I checked, it was at 1170. So that's going to be basically around this area or clearing to the above highs. But it does that doesn't mean that it's there now that it's going to finish there tomorrow. So, if you traded um, the earnings uh, and you bought some uh, calls or something like that, or you held a stock going long, congratulations. If you were looking to go short, sorry, that's just the way earnings is. Vegas money. You got to think of it like that, and uh, that's what, that'll put things in perspective. Uh, we got the DIA, uh, the diamond, the Dow Jones diamonds. Those still don't look good, uh, quite honestly. You're about to get across of the 10 and 50, so that's not a good sign, per se. And then you have the Russell. The Russell it did recapture the 50, bouncing above. Um, still needs to get above at least this area that we've seen one, two times around this area right here. Uh, the 77.4 area and the MACD is still uh, bearish. So let's look at a couple names. Uh, let's look at Apple. Apple uh, looks like it's continuing to the downside. A um, little bit of bounce from testing the 10 and, and flush down would be actually the most, uh, the lowest probability. Uh, you know, high probability trade for me. So I'm just kind of just waiting. And if you caught it on the way down and you, you picked up a couple of bucks, that's, that's fine. Uh, Solar City uh, looks good. Looks like if it can touch these new highs, that'll be good. Biogen, um, what the hell is this? Come on, come on, come on. Biogen looks good. Clearing highs, looking really good on the weekly. So that's something I might want to look at. See, it's a trading idea. Uh, Under Armour shot up tremendously today, over 20%. Uh, Manhattan Associates, that one looks good that it can uh, get to, to these highs as well. You got Jazz. Jazz looks good if it could set up again. This one has been a really, really good name. I've uh, been treating us well. Um, you got Web.com. That one is looking okay if it could break above these highs. And basically, if it could break above t the high of this day, that would be great for the long side. Um, Twitter. Twitter again we, we you know we just wanted to see what happens if we can get above that uh, Facebook uh, you know again we're gonna see if the highs and lows how that's gonna really work out look at it in the intraday time frame you can definitely see that uh, you know it just traded sideways a little bit and I will show you guys uh, I did Netflix and I got faded out I got stopped out but I'll show you exactly what happened uh, I, I got in here you know, trim some, and then it just faded me to the downside, quite honestly. So I got out around like here. Basically, once I saw it broke this high, I kind of said, okay, this doesn't look like it's looking good. And ended up, you know, just losing a little bit. But again, this is trading, not money harvesting. So I kind of want to keep it real, keep it 100 with you, 100% real. Um, so I just wanted to kind of really show that just to, to, to uh, ensure that, you know, I'm not going to be one of those guys going to say every single trade I do is a winner because that is complete rubbish. If you have a 50% um, a win rate, you're doing great. If you're doing 75, you're hitting the ball, you know, the cover off the ball. Uh, price line needs to recapture something. It's just not trending. It's just a real sloppy pattern. So we'll kind of take it from there. But again, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to um, comment below, like, share, and I really appreciate it. Take care.